I'm here at a trade show for manufacturing and design and I've decided to put the Rivian key into an x-ray machine and see what, what we actually get. So we're looking at a creative electron x-ray machine. This is Tony. How you doing? All right, Tony, so what are we doing? Can you walk me through this? Uh, sure, so we're looking at a uh, TrueView Prime. This is our mid-level x-ray system. Uh, I've got an entry level system, our Cube, and I've got a standalone system, our Fusion. But here we're looking at a, uh, a desktop or a benchtop system, if you will. Excellent. I've got my X-ray source down on the bottom. Okay. I've got my X-ray detector up top. Yep. And what we're going to do is cast our shadow upwards onto this device. Okay. okay. Let's do so it. We're going to close the door. Turn on my power. All right. So I see a sign up here, or a light. Power's on. Yep. This is an industrial Excellent. cabinet, um, okay. so it's safe for any operator to stand in front of 300. Good. So I'm not going to get shocked or That's anything correct. like that. You're not going to grow a so on your shoulder. here's the key. I know we have a metal outside. We can see the circuit board. We see the coin cell. We see a spring, spring loaded. One, two, three. We can see the three screws. This is pretty awesome. So you can zoom in, zoom out, change the different color, um, change power, change frequency. Yeah, so as we zoom in, the detector is actually moving further away from the sample, so we're going to have to go ahead and increase brightness at this point. And Tony, while you do that, how can we get a hold of you? Uh, you can reach us at uh, www.creativeelectron.com. <laughs> We've got a nice uh, X-ray university there if you need any additional information. Okay, great. The, the history of X-rays, our yep. products and case studies, white papers. Wow, this is pretty cool. You can actually see the mouse bites from the circuit board. You can see the coin cell battery. You can see the traces. This is phenomenal how, how accurate and how detailed you can actually see. You can see the fiducial on the circuit board there. Yep. Here you can actually see some voiding under this device. Mm -hmm. Those are the plastics. We see the plastics. That's pretty cool. Let's go back to the way quickly. You can see under our uh, QFN or BTC type of component, you see all these voiding under the device. Let's see if I can brighten that up just a little bit. So the voiding is this area right there that I'm seeing. Yes, that's correct. And what does that mean? Oh, that means there's air pockets in there, so this should be soldered 100% as a heat sink. So those voids can actually lead to uh, thermal issues. Very cool. So again, just by manipulating our grayscale, we can yes, go ahead and Yes, there you go. So you can actually see voids that. under that. That's correct. Now watch what happens when I do my edge filter. Wow, look at that. Oops, that's not a good one. There we go. You can see those voids under that, that IC right there. Yep. Really cool. All right, Tony, really appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time and uh, letting us take a look at this Rivian R1T key fob.